Hi, I'm Preston Tate. I'm preserving veteran history, one veteran at a time. And this is my grandfather, and we'll be asking him a couple questions. Number one, can you please tell us your name, branch of service, rank, and your hometown? Yes, my name is uh, Paul Tate, uh, and I, am, uh, I was served in the U.S. Army from 1967 to 1969 when I retired. And uh, I was so glad to retire, I might add. Uh, and I, uh, I'm from Forreston, Texas. Cool. Number two, were you drafted or you or did you enlist? I enlisted or I was commissioned uh, out of college at, from Texas A&M into the, uh, I was commissioned a first lieutenant or second lieutenant. Okay. Number three, did you serve in any conflicts? The Vietnam uh, conflict, of, I was there in 1968. Okay, number four, what did the U.S. military teach you? Oh, taught you discipline. Uh, not always uh, enjoying what you do, but it had to be done for the sake of the uh, outfit or the unit or the campaign, and uh, you just had to do your part. All right. Number five, what is your advice to future members of the U.S. military? To learn as much as you can, be trained, uh, and uh, always be careful and be alert. I would guess that would be my advice. Is there anything that you would like to add that I didn't cover? Uh, President, you know, I, I probably uh, I, there's a lot of questions you have in retrospect or after the fact. Uh, I did not realize how naive I was about that war, uh, about what our government said about the war, um, and uh, it, it is disappointing uh, having people served and guys lost their lives and our government was not, they didn't do what they should have done. We should have been out of there years before that, could have saved thousands of lives. That I resent. Well, what do I say to that? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to get heavy on you. That's tough. That, that, that'd be hard to say. So all, all you can do is say thank you because, you know, you, had, you hadn't been there. You didn't know. <laughs> you know, Phil. You know that old Phil. That's oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what to say to that. You, there's no comeback. There's no comeback to that, really and truly. <laughs> you could say, "I feel your pain," or "I feel your pain." I'm so no. <laughs> <laughs> The toughest thing that I've had to do is probably like say, "Lucy, you were right." Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, "Thank you for your service," and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're very welcome, and it, uh, you know, the, the, what, the thing that uh, it occurred to me, and it, it's taken a while, we fight so that people back home don't have to go, and they're protected, and they can live their life. I thought that we were fighting to give them the right to vote, but they also have the right not to vote. They also have the right not to, to, to not to stand at the uh, national anthem. That's their choice. That's a, that's a wrong approach, in my opinion, but they have a right to do that because they've got a point. They've got a, something that they want to say. That's just the wrong venue to say it. But I asked a guy why he didn't vote. He said, it doesn't make any difference. It's going to come out like it's supposed to anyway. And I didn't have a comeback for that. Well, that's Close on that statement. So, uh, very good, very good. I am Preston Tate, preserving U.S. veteran history, one veteran at a time. Have a good night. Thank you. That's very good. <laughs>